Hi guys, this is Shashank from Mystic Alankar. In this video, we will be making a dance lead, which is distorted. Um, it is used quite often in uh, dance music, electronic songs, party songs. And this is what it sounds like. So to make this sound, let's start off with a new instance of Serum. Now in oscillator A, let's load the SAM underscore serum wavetable. It's inside vowels. And in oscillator B, let's load uh, spectral uh, trilobyte 3. Now this particular sound uh, is mostly made uh, by mapping an LFO onto the wavetable positions and later distorting them uh, to an extent where the lead starts cutting through everything. So, <clears throat> we have here LFO1. Now, by default, the rate is set to 1 fourth. Um, if you want, depending on your song, you can change the rate. But this works for many situations. So, let's go ahead and map this to wavetables position knob. Now, if you look through the wavetables, uh, they are quite dynamic. And we only need a little bit of movement in the wavetable. We don't need it so much so that it starts distracting the listener. Just a little bit to make it sound a little edgy, a little modern, right? So let's turn this wavetable knob up to around 40% or so. And let's bring this LFO amount down to about 55-60%. And that's about the modulation we need. More than that, we'll start distracting the listener. Uh, you can do the same thing for oscillator B as well. So turn the knob up to around 40-45% and bring this uh, LFO amount by to about 50-55%. That's, that's about it, not more than that. <clears throat> uh, now let's have a listen. You can hear the wavetable moving. It's not a static, constant sound, right? Now to make this... Uh, a modern kind of sounding lead, you can add portamenta or pitch glide to it. So to do that, it's quite simple. First, turn your lead into a mono lead, uh, turn on the legato mode and turn the portamenta time to around anywhere between 60 to 70 milliseconds. So we have a listen. You can hear the notes uh, bending from one to the other. That gives it an interesting tone and whenever you're playing your melodies it starts uh, gliding between your notes. Now to start making this a little bigger uh, before we get into the effects increase your unison amount on your oscillators and we'll detune, detune them a little bit. So the oscillator 1 can be 7, oscillator 2 can be 5 maybe yeah and reduce the detune amount. So if the detune amount is too much, you don't get a pitch center. You start, uh, you don't get a sense of the pitch. So when you're playing a melody, you want that sense of a pitch, but at the same time, you want it to sound wide. You want it to sound big. So that's what unison does. So with this, uh, this is what it sounds like. You can hear it wider, especially if you're on headphones or earphones. You can hear the width in the sound now. Now let's get into the effects tab. You can uh, have your hyper slash dimension module on. This uh, adds a little more width and a little more depth to your sound. You can mod you can change the values a little bit, but mostly this setting already works for me. And after this is the main distortion module. This is what gives you that edge in the sound, right? So for this, uh, we will be using the sine fold setting. And be very careful with the drive amount because uh, this is very, very uh, strong. So you want to have just a little bit of drive and you can already hear the change in the sound. So uh, essentially this is with zero, right? And we'll go up slowly so you can hear the change in the sound. As we brought it up, you could hear the lead starting to distort and be more edgy and brighter, right? So this setting depends on your song, your taste. 
I personally like it around here. Uh, it, but again, it depends on in context. If you have a lot of bright uh, dubstep kind of sounds, then more distortion would work well. Next, you can have an EQ just to have a little bit of edge in the top end. So uh, switch on the EQ module and increase the gain just a little bit and change the frequency so that it's only in the top shelf kind of you're only touching the very high frequencies you can hear the high buzzing now that's what you want it that's how you want it to cut through your mix uh, and to end it with you can have a compressor now you will have other compressors uh, in your mix but uh, this will kind of tame the sound so that you have a smooth sound uh, out of your synth so when you're doing your other uh, major mix compressors uh, it won't have to do so much because your sound is smooth to start right so don't do too much compression here just to uh, handle control the dynamics and make it sound smooth you can adjust your threshold but uh, make sure that your compressor is after the eq so that that's the last plug in in the chain Uh, if you want, you could also have a reverb coming from this because uh, Serum has a reverb unit. Uh, but what I would suggest is you put the reverb after your compressor so that the reverb doesn't get compressed and make it sound muddy. So just put it after your compressor. And uh, any module in this works uh, depending on the sound you're looking for. You can also use third party reverbs. That works fine too. That's about it for this sound really. Uh, if you want, you can always experiment with new wavetables and uh, different distortion units. But this is how you essentially get a distorted edgy lead. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe to our channel for more uh, music production tips and tricks. You can also visit our blog. The link will be in the description below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.